And it's Gordo here from Gordo's Games, and we're back today with some content. Now, this is going to be slightly a bit uh, of a different one here. So, this is something that I have been, uh, been looking to start bringing to the channel because I play it myself, and another bit of content which I'll be going showing you shortly. Um, but it's to do with Marvel Snap. Now, I know this isn't some of the appeals for everybody that may play in the Digimon community that I obviously am involved in most of all, and this channel is still going to be for from Digimon, just to clarify. Um, but it's something that I've been playing, it's just. Uh, keeps me busy and entertained because we do have our downtime in Digimon as, as we know um, I was looking to do One Piece content but I only feel it's fair until I know more about the game and get involved in it more for me to then start doing content I don't see the point in me doing carbon copy lists of what people have tried and tested before I know what I'm doing so we're going to we're gonna put a pause on One Piece at this point in time I am playing in the background but you know we'll go from there um, but yeah we're going to go into it and this is just the it's like, it's like a 12, it's only 12 cards, yes, but it's the profile of what I've been playing when I started with it. So let's just hop over to the screen now and we'll take it from there. So as we know, I'm, I'm not a big hunter creator in, in this game. I There are so many more, so if you do want input from uh, others that do play the game, by means, just go and check them out. Uh, if you want, I can drop some of the links down below. Uh, they are some of the ones that I use myself when I have a browse through list and things I want to play, because I do spend a lot of time, as you can see here, I have spent quite a bit of time playing this game. So I have a good idea of how the game works. Um, so for my first one, so we have a few ones up here. One of the other ones that, that I started with. So this is Carnage. Carnage is all based on destruction, so destroying your pieces, but uh, and basically getting bonuses for it. Um, I've looked at various lists for this, and I've seen quite that they are often quite similar. Um, one of the things I found to be a problem with this is turn one turn for this deck is normally problematic because you always want to see Deadpool and what Deadpool does when he's destroyed he will return your hand with double the power so as you can see here what we want to do is we want to keep destroying Deadpool and you want to keep buffing him up time and time again um, but we don't always get a chance to do that and the reason being is we don't see turn one Deadpool and then turn two into a carnage uh, and then into more and more destruction pieces which can slow down the whole building of Deadpool and he just becomes a very lacklustre guy on board don't get me wrong strong card and you can make decks specifically around buffing this up so when you just get destroyed you just go burr. Um so I have opted to obviously let for more one cost in the deck so I've gone for three overall uh, Nova is a must for destruction decks you destroy him and he gives everything else one power around him so it's great when you want to go for your turns where you've got multiple things on board and you just want to get that uh, a little additional boost to everything else it can really tell the titan games uh, I have opted for Spiner Ham and the reason that's not really a destruction card but it's a one cost and it does allow me to get some knowledge of what's in their hand um, if you're playing against mirrorly at destruction it usually hits their null which is great because if you shut their null off it saves you time and time again um, hits Sarah's, hits various things, Phoenix Force being a very popular one at the moment so it does hit the, those targets because generally that tends to be the hierarchy of what they've got um, so I've elected for three one cost here, just so I have more of uh, more chance of a turn one. Um, turn two, you're no normally looking between a Bucky Barnes uh, or Kai's, depending if you've managed to get a one cost out. Normally Bucky is still the way to go, because um, if you've got a Nova, I don't really want a Carnage into a Nova. Spider Ham into Carnage is fine, and Deadpool into Carnage, but yeah. So you turn when you're looking at this, turn two, you're normally looking at Bucky Barnes, or if you can get something out of it. Let's say, for example, one of the uh, parts was Raptor, where they're giving you a couple of one casts, we'll just go Carnage to buff this up a bit. Um, Killmonger, we still run here, destroys the one cost cards, so it'll destroy ours as well, so it's a way for us to get rid of Deadpool. It also a way for us to clear out their board. If we've been spammed with rocks, Raptors, things like that, it's a way for us to clear those out and it just allows us to, a bit of board control and in some matchups it can really take games so if you've got pro if your opponent's got priority and you know they're playing a uh, patriot ultron deck this card literally annihilates that matchup um so it's just a very good card uh, venom probably one of the best cards in the deck um destroy other cards at this location add their power to this card so whereas Carnage has the effect to destroy the card in plus two for each destroy, so he just gets a flat plus two for every card he destroys. He doesn't actually gain anything like the power they had. So sometimes this can be a hindrance. Let's like say that you've got an eight power thing on board. If you then Carnage over it, you only get plus two. You don't get plus eight. Whereas Venom takes that plus eight. On the flip side, it can have a negative. Let's say they've Hobgoblin you, which is a minus eight. You will gain the minus eight. So keep that in mind. 
um, but generally just an all around good card allows you just to empty the spot if you've got four cards in there you can go venom just to kind of empty that back out again so you can still build keep building uh, Sabretooth here is a card that I see hit and miss in Destroy decks, uh, but I feel I really do feel like it has value. If you can get it down soon enough and keep repeatedly destroying it, uh, not only does it give going back to your hand as a free card to play down, which means you can play it down and then play another Destroy card to then destroy it, which then cheapens our top end, which I'll go through. Um, it's a 3-4, it's not bad, the stats are okay. Um, but yeah, can really open up some plays, and obviously on turn six, normally they expect you just to throw down your big top end, and that's it. This little four cost uh, for zero can really throw them off, so I do rate the saber tooth in there. Uh, run the death lock just for destruction. Uh, on reveal, destroy your other cards at this location. So yeah, you know, at the end of the day, the whole deck is about destruction. Again, this one you don't actually gain anything by destroying your other cards; you just destroy them. So be mindful when you're playing that. You want to get, you don't want to just pop your big bodies. Um, or if there's a location that says it's about to play a card and this is your only card in hand, maybe try and play this down somewhere else so it doesn't um, end up costing you too much uh, power overall. Now, Shang-Chi, normally you don't see this in Destroy decks, but I've, uh, as recently tested, I have been coming across. Uh, if if I've not, if you know, if I'm playing against a Destroy deck, it's often been the, t the case I've not been able to get rid of their null, and they've got something else bef down before mine. So what will end up happening is that Null will end up winning because I played Null and I haven't been able to play anything else down alongside it. It's just, just having the Shang-Chi there just to answer big boards um, has come up for me quite a bit. Um, you can play the things in this place if you don't wish to play into the, uh, the counter of big bodies. You can just play down some more destructions or Yondu for one cost again which is uh, basically takes the top card of your opponent's deck. That would be another one you could swap spider ham out for if you did want to just run something else uh yondu is very good and it does also prompt for destruction so we'll, when we come to these in a second explain why um moving on to null null is obviously the, the mvp card uh all together um sometimes it doesn't actually do that much though so you know sometimes you can be in a bad spot where you've got no bonuses because everything's minus to something like that which can be tragic but has the combined power of all cards destroyed this game so that's yours and your opponents um so the more things you destroy the bigger this card gets to the point of they shouldn't be able to contend it uh it is a six zero though so it does mean turn six this is your only card to play unless you get its counterpart to a good point which is death it costs one less for each card destroyed this game so if we can destroy eight cards across the board this will cost zero which means turn six what we can look to do is we play the null play the death if we've managed to destroy the same two we can play save two so we can play three cards down in turn six which gives us a lot of war presence uh so depending on how much we've got on this one you can either go death and save two and one null and one lane or, or what i tend to do is just play one down in each depending on how far ahead i am and that is the deck overall, that's Carnage. Um, I haven't played Destruction since I started this game, it was, one of the, it was one of the first decks I did play into. Generally I do find it to be a, an overall good archetype. Um, in the meta, I think it's very hit and miss. Uh, there are times where it can come up to be quite strong. And I do think it catches people off guard because people tend to forget about it because it's not a top end meta deck. Um, it is more of a, uh, a fan favourite for me. And uh, Venom, Carnage, all that lot just great to play into so yeah that's the deck overall uh, i will be looking to do a few more of these going forward uh, obviously if you do like the content if you do want to see more of it don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you know when this content goes live for you uh, we will also be looking to do things along the lines of uh, dc dual force decks so you will start seeing me move into things uh, alongside digimon marvel snap and dc dual force content on here so thanks for tuning in to games and i'll catch you later